Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Waheshimiwa viongozi wote maaskofu wetu na wachungaji pamoja na wananchi wote wa Nyeri County na mlima wa Kenya Hamjambo Hamjambo tena Andoi to Moriega Moriega rege Ngai no mwega na hendesho de Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ebu munisalimie hivi nione Bwana Yesu asifiwe Eh hey. Kweli naona mumekuja kukuja Kwanza wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi na kibali tufike hapa Nyeri hapa Sagana katika mtaa huu wa Ruguru na niwashukuru sana kwa kukubali tuweze kuwa na ibada hii maalum ibada ya shukurani tuko na sababu ya kutosha ya kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu tulienda kwa uchaguzi mwaka uliopita tukamuomba Mungu atupatie uchaguzi wa amani Mungu atupatie ushindi na tumekuja hapa Sagana Nyeri leo kumwambia Mungu asante kwa ushindi alitupatia kwa niaba yangu na hawa viongozi wote waliochaguliwa ma MCAs wetu wabunge wetu senators women reps governors huyu Mungu anarigiji na mimi kwa watu wa Nyeri na watu wa Mlima tumekuja kuwaambia asante sana kwa kutupatia nafasi ya uongozi Mimi nakumbuka wakati mwingi tulitembea hapa kwa makanisa hawa ndugu wakatunitembelea mpaka huko Hasla Mansion nakumbuka askofu wetu William Washira askofu wa Njohi hawa askofu wengi hapa walikuja kwa maombi kule Hasla Mansion na wakati huo mambo yalikuwa magumu lakini hawa viongozi wa kanisa ni mashujaa walikuja tukaomba pamoja wakati huo wakatabiri ya kwamba tutapata ushindi leo tumefika hapa kusherehekea ushindi huo Nataka niwashukuru sana na nirudie tena kwamba Mungu mbali na kutupatia ushindi alitusaidia mambo mawili alitupatia uchaguzi wa amani na vile vile akatupatia uchaguzi ambao uliondoa ukabila katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya Nikiwa hapa Nyeri mahali kuna Mount Kenya Mimi nataka niseme kwa niaba ya wakenya wote Niwashukuru watu wa mlima Kenya Mumefanya mambo mawili ya muhimu katika historia ya taifa letu la Kenya watu wa mlima walikuwa mstari wa mbele wakati tulitafuta uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya kwa niaba ya wakenya wale wengine wote nataka niwaambie asante sana leo tuko taifa huru kwa sababu wengi wa wakenya wakiwemo mstari wa mbele watu wa mlima Kenya walipigana ndio tuweze kupata uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya ya pili hapo katikati 
siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya ilikuwa ilikuja ikatekwa nyara na ukabila na wakenya walikuwa wanashangaa hii ukabila tutaiondoa vipi katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya mara nyingine tena ninyi kama watu wa mlima Kenya bila ya wakenya wengine kufikiria ama kupanga ukaamua ya kwamba nyinyi ndio mtaongoza kuondoa siasa ya ukabila katika siasa ya Kenya and i want to say in a very special way the people of mount kenya did the unimaginable they did the unexpected watu wengi hawakuamini ya kwamba watu wa mount kenya wanaweza kumpigia kura mtu ambaye si wa mount kenya karibu asilimia tisini. na mimi ndio nasimama mbele yenu kusema on behalf of the people of kenya you have made our country proud that in kenya today we can say we can vote for a leader we can vote for a party devoid of our ethnicity and that we have put our nation on a new trajectory that kenya will never be the same again we are going to be a different nation na nawashukuru sana nasema hivyo kwa sababu mambo mengi yalipangwa fitina nyingi zikaenezwa uchochezi mwingi ukawa kati yetu lakini mulisimama imara mukakataa ukabila mukakataa uchochezi mukakataa chuki nyinyi mtabarikiwa na Mungu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutaungana na hawa viongozi wote tuweze kubadilisha taifa letu la Kenya because we have a historic moment as a people we have a historic moment as a nation to change our country and change it for good na mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa mlima na watu wa Kenya ya kwamba sitawaangusha eh. mukiona vile na kaza hawa marafiki zangu viongozi wenzangu ni kwa sababu mimi sitaki aibu ya kuangusha We will not fail you. Na ndio mnaona hii kazi tunafanya na bidii na kujitolea. Naona watu wengine wanasema nimekaza watu sana. Lakini ni kwa sababu ile mmetufanyia. Mahali mmetutoa. Hatutaki ifike siku ya kwamba nyinyi mtasema ile juhudi yenu imeenda bure we have to work hard so that we can justify the faith the commitment the sacrifice you have made to make us who we are na ndio nasungumza na hawa viongozi wenzangu kila mara kuwaeleza ya kwamba kwa vyovyote whatever it takes we cannot fail these people we cannot fail the people of kenya na ndio mimi nataka niwashukuru sana mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Sagana Rigiji deputy wangu jana ni, tumesimama pale eh Kiamariga hapo madukani ameni introduce kwa watu wa hapa watu wa nyumba kumi Ameni introduce kwa ule mwangi wa mbembe mimi nimekula mahindi jana nimeona kweli anatosha Ameni introduce kwa muti ya kuuza nyama na sasa mimi nitakuwa muti ya kijiji hapa Ile maneno yote ya kijiji hapa 
tafadhali msinisahau wakati mnaitana mnitumie muni, salamu pia niweze kuwa kwa hiyo kikundi na niko na mtu yangu ya kunifikishia maneno rigiji yuko hapo nimefurahi sana kufika hapa mambo mengi ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya na hasa ya mlimani hapa nitaketi chini na hawa wabunge na magavana wetu na mawaziri hawa tuketi hapa tukubaliane mambo ambayo tumeandika katika mpango yetu ya plan ya kupeleka Kenya mbele nataka ni wahakikishie maneno ya kumbukumbu la Torati ama Deuteronomy 28 mstari wa 12 kwa sababu tuko kanisani inasema Mungu atatufungulia hazina yake God is going to open his good treasures for us Inasema Mungu atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake. He is going to give us rain in season. Inasema Mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono yetu. God is going to bless the work of our hands. Na inasema jambo la ine kwamba sisi kama inchi hatutakopa tena lakini tutakopesha wengine we will not borrow but we are going to lend hiyo ndio nchi ambayo tunasema hapa mlimani Mungu ametuahidi and we have no reason not to trust god na ndio bishop william ametuambia tunavuka hiyo upande mahali hiyo maneno iko mimi nataka niwahakikishie tunafanya bidii na hawa ndugu zangu deputy wangu mawaziri na wale wengine wote ma PS wetu tunafanya bidii na wao niliwaeleza ya kwamba kazi yetu ya kwanza ni kudhibiti uchumi wa taifa letu to stabilize the economy of our country kwa sababu tulikuwa pahali hatari sana. Mahali madeni ilikuwa nyingi na mpango wa vile tutayasuluhisha hatukuwa nayo kikamilifu. Napenda kuwaeleza ya kwamba we have stabilized the economy of the Republic of Kenya. Tumehakikisha kwamba mambo ya kukopa madeni kulia kushoto mbele na nyuma na juu na chini tumekomesha. Katika budget tuliyopeleka eh, bunge. Tuki huyu nilimwambia huyu kijana ndindi nyoro kwa sababu yeye ndio chairman wetu wa budget. Nikamwambia hakuna budget itaenda kupelekwa bunge ya madeni tukaondoa madeni karibu nusu trilioni ambayo ilikuwa imewekwa huko tukaondoa tukasema we must build this country on the solid foundation not on the foundation of debt na tumedhibiti uchumi sasa maajabu ni kwamba wiki iliyopita waziri wangu wa fedha yuko hapa bwana professor sasa Unajua tuko na deni kubwa tulikopa ina, inafaa kulipwa mwezi wa sita mwaka ujao. Ya 2 billion dollars huko mwezi wa sita mwaka ujao. Sasa wakati tumeketi chini tumepanga. Na tumesema hii deni hatuwezi kuongoja mpaka next year. Tumeanza sasa kuipangia vile tutalipa mapema. Sasa wale watu wakora wanaitwa eh, credit rating agencies wale wamezoea kutumia ukora kuongeza madeni yetu wakasikia tuko na mpango ya kulipa deni kabla haijafika siku yenyewe 
Sasa last week wameandika mabarua kulalamika. Mbona Kenya inataka kulipa madeni mapema? Mbona? <laughs> Kwa sababu walikuwa na ngoja at to default huko mbele. Na huyu profesa nimepata mtu ambaye anajua maneno. Ndiye aliniambia hii kitu wacha tupange mapema. Tukatafuta marafiki. Sasa hii deni tutalipa kabla siku yake. Ndiyo wale wametupangia watakoma watakambulia patupu. Na kwa sababu tumesema we are building our country on the solid foundation of our economy built around the taxes we raise. Na tuko na mwalimu ambaye ametufundisha hii kazi. Huyo mwalimu ni mtu ambaye alitoka na huku Nyeri. Mnajua mzee Kibaki wakati alichukua usukani kama rais tulikuwa tunakusanya bilioni miambili kama taifa. Akatuambia tulipe ushuru. Nyinyi mlisikia, nyinyi mnajua. Lipa kodi, hiyo ndio ilikuwa lugha ya mzee Kibaki. Akatusukuma wakati alikuwa anaondoka baada ya miaka kumi. tumetoka 200 billion tumefika 1 trillion tumeongeza ushuru yetu five times wakati wa mzee kipaki mnanielewa sasa mnafikiri mimi nitakosea nisifuate hapo kwa mzee kipaki mwenye aletufundisha inchi inajengwa na kodi inchi inajengwa na ushuru haijengwi na madeni hapo ndio tuko hao ni hotori Sio kama tunaelewana. Na mimi nilifanya kazi na mzee Kibaki. Na ndio nikiwa waziri wake wa fedha uh, wa, wa kilimo ndio aliniambia tafuta mbinu ya kuteremsha hii bei ya mbolea. Na mnajua mbolea ilikuwa elfu sita siku hiyo tukaleta mpaka 2500. Ndio hapo hapo nimefikisha tena. Kwa sababu ya mazomo ya ule mzee alikuwa mbele yetu. And that is the direction we are going to take our country. Tumekubaliana kwamba we are having vile neno la Mungu limesema Mungu atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake. Nakumbuka tukienda Nyayo Stadium na Pastor Doga hapa na maskofu hapa. Tukaenda tukaomba pale nyayo stadium nafikiri ilikuwa mwezi wa tatu, hapo mwezi wa pili. watu wengine wakatuchekelea wakasema angalia hawa ati rais mzima ameenda nyayo stadium ati kuombea mvua lakini mungu ni nani jameni tulipata mvua atakupata mvua leo kwa mvua mungu ametupatia kwa mpango ambaye tumeweka ya kushusha bei ya mbolea Leo tunangojea mavuno. Saa hizi ile kazi na nisumbua akili ni hii chakula iko shambani sitaki yaribike. Na ndio nimemwambia huyu waziri wetu wa kilimo. Si nimekuambia wewe Linturi. Nimemwambia huyu kwenda tafuta dryers. Tunataka chakula ikitoka shambani tuwe na dryers, tupange mambo ya eh, commodity exchange, wakulima wapate mahali ya kuuza mazao yao na tuhakikisha kwamba hii aibu ya njaa tunaondoa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kwa sababu jameni kama Mungu ametuahidi atatupatia mvua kwa wakati wake, tutaendelea kuwa na njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mungu pia ametuambia he will bless the work of our hands. Na ndio sababu kwa mara ya kwanza katika budget ya taifa letu la Kenya tumeweka mpango wa kusomesha watoto wetu lakini vile vile for the first time tumeweka mpango ya ajira ya watoto wakitoka shuleni wakitoka college wakitoka university na ndio mnasikia tumeweka mpango ya housing tumeweka mpango ya digital jobs tumeweka mpango ya kuajiri vijana ambao watakaenda eh, kazi zingine ambazo tumeongea na viongozi wengine wengi because we want god to bless the works of our hands 
na lazima tuwe na mpango ya vile kazi itapatikana ndio Mungu atubarikie hiyo kazi tukifanya ndio kwa mara ya kwanza Kenya watu walikuwa wanauliza hii kitu inaitwa finance bill imetoka wapi imewekwa mjadala Kenya mzima iko kitu inaitwa finance bill hii finance bill imekuwa kila siku imekuwa tangu tuwe nchi huru lakini for the first time the biggest conversation in Kenya ile mjadala kubwa katika taifa letu la Kenya mwaka huu si ni mjadala ya finance bill yes because we are discussing the economy and we are discussing how we can run away from debt and how we can raise local resources and how we can create jobs for our young people katika hiyo budget mbali na kupanga vile tutapata ajira ya vijana wetu vijana wetu wanaangaika kwa pombe na bangi na madawa na tukiwatoa huko tulazima tuwapangie kazi ambayo watafanya na ndio tumesema vile vile katika hiyo mpango ya budget ile mambo yote ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza hapa Kenya hatutaki tena tuagize kutoka nchi zingine tumesema simiti na nimemwambia Moses Kuria si unajua waziri tumekubaliana na huyu Moses Kuria simiti chuma furniture sijui samaki ile inatolewa sijui China na wapi na wapi na wapi hakuna tena tutakuwa tunavua samaki Kenya tunatengeneza furniture Kenya tunatengeneza chuma Kenya tunatengeneza simiti Kenya tutapanua factory zetu ya ajiri vijana wa Kenya tujenge uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kuondoa umaskini katika taifa letu la Kenya Mungu atatubarikia kazi zetu za mikono na mna gani ndugu zangu kama hizo za kazi hatujaipangia how will god bless us how will god bless the works of our hands if our young people are jobless hiyo ndio mpango yetu na kabisa mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba mpango yetu kwa mambo ya kilimo nilimwambia rigiji brokers katel wakora watoke kwa chai watoke kwa kahawa watoke kwa mambo ya eh, maziwa yetu tupange hiyo kazi ifaidi wakulima wetu amefanya mkutano ya chai ameita watu wote amefanya mkutano ya kahawa anapanga ya maziwa ndio tuhakikisha kwamba hiyo sekta yote tunaipangia vizuri and i want to give you my commitment ya kwamba pale tunajua ndio inabeba watu wengi kilimo tukisuluhisha matatizo yetu ya kilimo tutaweka utajiri kwa watu wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya and that's what we are going to do so mimi nawashukuru sana hiyo mpango yote tumeipangia vizuri na Mungu atatusaidia atatubarikia hawa maaskofu mmesikia pastor Dokas amesema hii serikali ilipatikana kwa maombi na itasimamishwa na kuendeshwa na maombi so muendelee kutuombea muendelee kuombea taifa letu la Kenya na sisi tutafanya bidii upande wetu nataka niwashukuru wabunge wetu hawa wabunge wetu jameni wapige makofi wametupitishia mambo kule bunge walikuwa wanapatiwa vitisho wanaambiwa so kitaumana sijuu hautarudi hapa sijuu utaenda wapi lakini because we know what we want to do because our nation lazima tuibadilishe kwa mipango kwa miradi kwa mambo ya maendeleo ndio mnaona tunashikana tuko timu moja bunge wanafanya kazi yao sisi katika executive tunafanya kazi yetu wale katika judiciary wanaendesha mambo na sisi wote tunataka tujenge taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kutushikilia mimi niko hapa mulimani masiku kadhaa tutakutana kesho kwa shughuli ya mambo ya maendeleo Najua tuko na barabara nyingi nimeambiwa na huyu wa wa mumbi ananikaza sana sijui barabara eh, kiamavara sijui wapi nini nini hiyo barabara zote 
iko katika mpango yetu mtatupatia toka nafasi kidogo tupange mambo ya ku raise resources mwezi moja mwezi mbili mtatuona tumeanza hiyo kazi na tunaanza kwa kasi kwa sababu sasa tuko na budget ambayo tumeipangia vizuri ya kupeleka mambo ya taifa letu mbele mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu mbele ile kitu mimi nawauliza wa Kenya wote ni kwamba hatuna taifa ingine taifa ambayo tuko nayo ni hii moja inaitwa Kenya na hatuwezi kukubali ya kwamba hii taifa letu iharibike sisi ni inchi na ni vizuri niseme sisi ni inchi ambayo tunafuata sheria sisi ni inchi ambayo imesimamia katiba sisi ni wanademokrasia na sisi ni inchi ambayo tunaweka amani na tunaweka umoja tumesema ya kwamba sisi wote tutaheshimu sheria tutaheshimu katiba yetu tutaheshimu demokrasia yetu ile kitu ambayo tumesema haitafanyika tena Kenya yetu ni mambo ya vita kuharibu mali ya wananchi kuharibu biashara ya wananchi kuharibu mali ya umma barabara na mali nyingine ya umma hiyo tumesema sio demokrasia sio kufuata sheria sio kufuata katiba ya Kenya na sio uzalendo wa aina yoyote kuharibu mali kuendesha vita na kulete chuki kwa wakenya that is not how we build a nation wengi many people want to tell us we are taking kenya backwards i want to tell them we are taking kenya forwards by refusing violence by refusing anarchy destruction of property whether private or public that's how to move the country forward those engaged those who propagate violence and destroy property and destroy public property and destroy life and destroy people's business those are the ones who are taking our country backwards to the dark days where kenya was violent and i want to say as kenyans kenyan leaders irrespective of what side we belong to or what persuasions we come from we must stand together to say no against violence against anarchy against destruction of, prop of property because that is violence undermines democracy violence works against the rule of law violence works against us as a nation and we must all stand together to say no to violence and i am telling even our brothers in the opposition they must be unequivocal on matters violence there is no opposition there is no government on matters of violence we must all stand on the same side because it undermines who we are it undermines our nation it undermines our democracy it undermines the rule of law and it is unconstitutional and illegal and undemocratic to cause violence and destroy people's property and destroy our nation sabotaging our economy so sisi wote tusimame upande moja na mimi nataka niwashukuru wa Kenya wote kwa sababu tumekubaliana watu wengi wanashangaa pengine haya ya mambo ya maandamano ambayo tuletea fujo naamini ya kwamba kuna sababu ilifanyika ndio tukubaliane kabisa once and for all ya kwamba there will be no more violent demonstrations in Kenya 
hatukuwa tumepata nafasi ya kusema i think we are now agreed that there will be no more violent demonstrations in kenya that destroy property that destroy people's uh, uh, lives and that destroy our public property sisi wote tunasimama upande moja so nawashukuru sana ndugu zangu watu wa nyeri ndugu zangu watu wa mlima kenya tunawapenda sana tunawaenzi na tutashirikiana kujenga taifa letu la Kenya moja ambayo tumeunganika kama wananchi wa taifa la Kenya. Na 